XRP community, welcome back to the wonderful world of crypto. My name is James Rule XRP. Follow me on Twitter at Rule XRP. I'm not a financial advisor. This is for entertainment purposes only. And this video here is for all of the new people that are just coming into the crypto space. Over the past couple of months, there has been a huge influx of people hearing about crypto, researching crypto, looking up crypto, and getting into cryptocurrency. And I want to cover a couple of things here. I've had some questions asked to me on Twitter as well as my YouTube videos. And if you'll look back at my YouTube channel, you'll see that I have created several tutorial videos showing you how to sign up for some of these different services as well as cryptocurrency exchanges. If you're brand, to, brand new to this, take your time when you go in and research different cryptocurrencies and do not let the YouTube community or the Twitter community influence you on what you want to invest in. These are your decisions and you need to do your own research. I research this daily for several hours at a time, pulling up news mainly pertaining to Ripple and XRP, but I also look at different cryptocurrencies. I look at the technology in this space and see where this space is growing every day. And if you're just now getting into this, you are at the right place at the right time. Everyone in the XRP community is getting excited. There has been a lot of things happening the past several weeks, and we are looking at major adoption of cryptocurrency worldwide coming in the near future. All right, I will leave a link in the description below to everything that we cover today on this video. This is coinpaprika.com, and I go to this page every day to research the cryptocurrency market. And you can go in here and you can research these cryptos. You can click on each one of these cryptocurrencies and it will give you information about the company, about the use case of the crypto and what it is used for and the value and the trend of what the cryptocurrency has done. Okay, right now the total market cap of all cryptocurrencies combined is $364,596,000,000. Okay, Bitcoin currently is at $11,546. If you want to buy Bitcoin, you do not have to purchase the entire Bitcoin. You can buy $25 worth. You can buy $10 worth, $100 worth. Just know that if you're new, you do not have to purchase the entire coin. Ethereum, the same way, it's at $386. You can buy $5 worth of Ethereum on these exchanges if you want to. You can diversify. XRP is currently $0.27.9. Cents. It is a perfect buying opportunity for XRP because the price is down. Here a few days ago, it was up to $0.32. Cents. There has been sell-offs, but do not fear. It's like the stock market. People are just getting into this. People are getting fearful. People are making money from when they purchased back when it was seven cents or 11 cents and they're taking profits. But many people today are holding their cryptocurrency or holding HODL, which means hold on for dear life, as well as myself. I've been investing in XRP for three years and I have sold zero XRP. I've purchased XRP at 99 cents. I've purchased XRP at seven cents. I've purchased many at 17 cents. So you know, right now is a real good investment opportunity. Don't FOMO, don't have the fear of missing out. But we're going to go over a couple pages here, especially if you're new, and kind of go over what cryptocurrency is and how to go in and research and how to join a couple of the cryptocurrency exchanges, which will enable you to purchase cryptocurrency. All right, let's go to this. Why was Bitcoin created? And I'm only going to read a little bit of these articles that I'm showing you, and I'll leave a link in the description below so you can go over them yourself. Okay, this article was written on medium.com October 14th, 2017, which is my birthday. Hello, people. James Roy XRP, October 14th. How convenient. <laughs> okay, to some, the fact that Satoshi, the inventor of Bitcoin, is an unidentified person or group of people raises some red flags. While their anonymity brings the benefit of picking further interest, it also delegitimizes 
the technology and the order of others. This is why I think it's important to discuss that could have motivated Satoshi to create Bitcoin. Why was Bitcoin created? Satoshi Nakamoto wanted to create a trustless cash system. Satoshi explicitly stated that the reason for creating the digital cash system is to remove the third party intermediaries that are traditionally required to conduct digital monetary transfers. Third party incurs significant costs for conducting these services. These costs are then passed on to end users and can restrict transactions below a certain size. Such costs include covering back office expenses, the effort it takes to collect and reconcile transactional data, taking appropriate security measures, I'm <clears throat> sorry, costs related to the risk of security breaches given that they are centralized repositories of sensitive data, and accounting for fraudulent activity, the costs associated with having to refund money in the case of fraud, among others. All right, let's go to this next article, nerdwallet.com. This article came out June 18, 2019. What is cryptocurrency? Here's what you should know. Cryptocurrencies let you buy goods and services or trade them for profit. Here's more about what cryptocurrency is and how to buy it and how to protect yourself. And I'm just going to kind of skim through this. Like any cryptocurrency, cryptocurrencies can be used to buy goods and services. But unlike other currencies, cryptocurrencies are digital and use cryptography to provide secure online transactions. While cryptocurrencies can be used to buy things, much of the interest in these unregulated currencies is to trade them for profit with speculations at times driving prices skyward. Here are seven things to ask about crypto and what to watch for. What is crypto? How many are there out there and what are they worth? Why are they so popular? Are they a good investment? How do I buy crypto? Are cryptocurrencies legit? And how can I protect myself? And I'm only going to cover this first one here. What is cryptocurrency? It is a form of payment that can be exchanged online for goods and services. Many companies have issued their own currencies, often called tokens. And this can be traded specifically for goods or services that the company provides. Think of them as you would arcade tokens or casino chips. You'll need to exchange real currency for the cryptocurrency to access the goods or services. Cryptocurrency work using technology called blockchain. Blockchain is a decentralized technology spread across many computers that manages and records transactions. And part of the appeal of this technology is its security. Cryptocurrencies are on a decentralized network. Banks and central banks are centralized. They control the flow of the money. So when you purchase cryptocurrency, as well as XRP cryptocurrency, you are basically being your own bank. You have total control of your cryptocurrency. Okay, as I was stating before, you can go into coinpaprika.com and tear down each one of these. And what I did, I clicked on XRP. And as you can see, it gives a brief description of what XRP is used for, the company Ripple. And there, it gives you a demo video over here. If you keep going down, it'll show you the white paper. And what a white paper is, it is the original documentation that was written up for each cryptocurrency, giving a problem to solve, a use case, and a solution. And some of these get pretty technical. Unless you are a computer guru or a programmer, some of these white pages or white papers will be really technical, but they are a breakdown of the cryptocurrency and what they are used for and you can go down here and see that there are events and live events and different things and it shows you the trends you can look at the one day trend the seven day the 30 the quarter of the year the max and as you can see here back during the bull run xrp hit three dollars and 84 cents at the very beginning of 2018 and right now we are below 30 cents and with crypto adoption taking places now with all the new people coming into the space including yourself this is going to be massive. You are going to invest in the future of digital assets and technology. And when you invest in these cryptocurrencies, you are investing in the companies that invented them. Look at it this way. Think about if you were around in the late 80s and early 90s when the internet took off and emails took off and all of these internet companies started up, the Amazons, the Ebays, the Napsters, and at that time, you were unable to invest in these technologies. And today, 
Amazon stock, I'm wanting to say, is around $1,200, if not more. Right now, you can go in and purchase these cryptocurrency or digital assets. You can purchase pieces of these digital assets. And as they grow, your money will grow. So do your research on these before you buy them. Okay, you're wanting to know how to purchase cryptocurrency. Depending on where you are located in the world, there are many cryptocurrency exchanges and you need to go in and research and make sure they are legit. I am in the United States. I use Coinbase. Coinbase is a good option if you're just getting into cryptocurrency and you're wanting to buy some of the top cryptos on the list, including XRP. You go in and you have to go, you fund the account, you have to to, to uh, KYC, which means know your customer. You have to shoot a copy of your driver's license, the front and back, just to prove that you are who you are. And then you connect a bank or a credit card or a debit card to the account, and then you fund the account and you're good to go. Coinbase.com, there is another one I use. I use BitTrue. They're located in Singapore. And the reason I use BitTrue is because they are a cryptocurrency exchange that allows you to exchange XRP or Ethereum or Bitcoin for many different altcoins like VeChain. I also own VeChain and it is a use case cryptocurrency. There's Zap, there's Zill. Like I said, you'll have to research what all these cryptocurrencies are. But this is a very good exchange if you're looking to purchase coins or cryptocurrency that you cannot find on other exchanges. A lot of exciting news, and if you're brand new to this space, it is going to be overwhelming. You're gonna ask yourself, is it worth it? Is it worth going through the time, setting up these accounts on these exchanges, doing the KYC and the 2FA, which is two-factor authentication, which takes a little time, but what the two-factor authentication does is it protects you. Every time you log on or transfer cryptocurrency in and out of these exchanges, you're going to receive a text message and an email, and you have to verify your account through the text and through the email by the codes that they send you to type in. So this is another security measure that ensures that nobody can hack your account. So anyway, if you're new to this space, welcome to the space. I really appreciate all the new people coming in. And it's really exciting to teach the new people coming into this space. If you have a friend that's been in cryptocurrency or a family member that's been in cryptocurrency for a while, get with them and ask them questions. Also go to Twitter and you can go to my page at Rural XRP and shoot me a message. I will be happy to answer any questions. As a matter of fact, I have people ask me questions daily and I do the best I can to respond. If I can't respond to them the same day, I apologize. But I'm blessed to be a part of this community. I've been on Twitter since January. I have had this YouTube channel since April, and it is massive now. There's so many people watching these videos and getting information and educated on how to purchase and hold cryptocurrency. So if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel. I will be providing information daily on Twitter as well as YouTube. Some of the videos I show are going to be news videos and some of them will be tutorials. So if you've been here for a while, just bear with me. Uh, some of these are refresher courses for you if you've been in this space for a while. And if you're new, congratulations. Welcome to the crypto space. And welcome to the XRP community. The XRP community is a wonderful group of people. And I have many, many friends all over the world that I associate with daily, not only on the phone, but through Twitter. And it is just a really great community. So uh, one last thing, if there is an ad that pops up on this video as you're watching it, and it says, click here to get free XRP or free Ethereum, do not click on it, people. If you're brand new, do not give away any cryptocurrency that you just purchased because you will not get it back. There are scam ads going on YouTube right now that want people to send cryptocurrency to their addresses, promising you double your money back or double your crypto back. You will never see your crypto again. So have a wonderful weekend. I hope everyone is safe wherever you're at in the world. Please do your research and please research every one of these cryptos. Click on them, learn what they're about. 
and know what you own before you own it. So be safe. Have a great weekend. We will see you soon. Take care.